Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on system of linear equations. Given problem is, find the values of lambda and mu, so that the system of equations 2x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 9, 7x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 8, 2x plus 3y plus lambda z is equal to 5, mu has unique solution, second one no solution, third one infinitely many solutions. So friends, E is saying the given system of linear equations has uh, these three solutions. Then we need to find out the unknown values. What are the unknown values for unique solution? What about the lambda and mu? What about the lambda and mu for no solution? What about the lambda and mu values for infinitely many solutions? Okay, friends, first what we have to do means here we need to write the system of linear equations in a matrix form A x is equal to B. Later we need to write a uh, augmented matrix AB. Okay, this augmented matrix we have to apply elementary row operation. Then it will be converted into echelon form. So after converting echelon form, we need to find out the rank of A and rank of AB. If friends, if both are equal, rank of A which is equal to rank of AB. Whenever these are equal, then you can say uh, this rank is we are denoting with a small r. And also we need to verify the number of unknowns. How many variables are given? If rank of A is equal to rank of AB, that means R is equal to N. If R is equal to N, then we have a unique solution. No solution means rank of A not is equal to rank of AB. In this case, there is a no solution. And rank of A is equal to rank of AB means R, which is less than N, then we will have infinitely many solutions. So this is the procedure. Okay. First, uh, I am writing the given system of uh, linear equations in a matrix form. Okay. Okay friends, here I have written the given equations. Uh, 2x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 9. 7x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 8. 2x plus 3y plus lambda z is equal to mu. These equations can be written in the matrix form. Ax is equal to b. Or here you need to write x quotients. Okay, x quotient is 2. y quotient 3. z quotient is 5. Next, x quotient is 7 y quotient is 3, z quotient is minus 2. In the third row, x quotient is 2, y quotient is 3, z quotient is lambda. Now, you need to write the variable matrix or a constant matrix. Here, you need to write the variable matrix or unknown matrix. x, y, z, which is equal to. Here, you write a constant matrix 9, 8, lambda. Now, it is in ax is equal to b. So, you have to consider this as equation number 1. Now, uh, we have to reduce these matrix into echelon form. For that first we need to write a augmented matrix. The augmented matrix means here just you write the A and the B combination. Combination of A and B matrix. Then it is called a augmented matrix. Now augmented matrix is 2, 3, 5, 7, 3, minus 2, 2, 3, lambda. Okay. 9. This is this uh, column matrix, constant matrix I am writing. 9. 18 mu. So this is called augmented matrix. This augmented matrix we are denoting with the AB. Now we have to reduce this matrix into echelon form by applying elementary row operations. Okay friends. Now here you observe. Here you have a 2. So first diagonal element is 2. Below the diagonal element you have a 7 and a 2. By using this diagonal element we have to make the below the diagonal elements are 0. Okay. Generally if it is unit element then we can do very easily but uh, this is not a unit element this is 2 so what we have to do if possible make this element as a 1 how can we make this as 1 means in the down what you have in the second row first one uh, 7 this is 2 so I am doing R1 tends to this is 7 how can I get a unit element from these two 4 times of R1 4 times of R1 means 4 2s are 8 minus R2. Then I will have 8 minus 7 is 1. Only that uh, operation I am doing. Then I will have, this is you see friends, 4. 8 minus 7 is 1. 4 3s are 12. 12 minus 3, 9. 4 3s, uh, 4 5s are 20. 20 plus 2, 22. 4 9s are 36. 36 minus 8 is 28. Next, this row is as it is written. 7, 3, minus 2, 
8 and third row is also as it is 2, 3, lambda, mu. That's it. Now we have a first diagonal element is unit. Now by using this diagonal element, make the below the diagonal elements are 0. Here also you can do, but it will be a little bit complicated due to that reason. I am not done. Okay. Now I have to make below these diagonal element means 7 and 2 are 0. How can I do? I have to apply the elementary row operations R2 tends to R2 minus. What is R2 here you have? In the second row first element 7, 7 minus 7. So multiply with the 7, 7 R1 and applying R3 tends to R3 minus. Here you observe friends, 2 minus 2. So how can I get a, a 2 means multiply with 2. So R3 minus 2 R1. That's it. So I am applying these two operations, then I will have, this first row is asked is 1, 9, 22, 28. Now, now applying R2 tends to R2 minus 7 R1. 7 R1 means you write in minus here, 7 minus 7, 0, 3, minus 7 times of 9. What is the 7 times of 9 if I subtract it? Then we will have minus 60. Next, minus 2 times of minus 7 times of 22. So 22 times of uh, 7 means 154 and here you have a 2. So minus 156. 8 times of uh, minus uh, 8 minus 7 times of 28 is minus 118. Friends if you don't know then better to use calculator. If it is a lengthy calculation better to use calculator. Okay. It's not an issue. Next third row is we have R3 minus 2 R1. So here you have a 2. So write down here a uh, minus 2. Then 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 times of minus 18, uh, sorry 3 minus 18 is minus 15, next lambda minus 2 times of 22 means 44, next mu minus 2 times of 28 means 56, okay friends, here you observe, second diagonal element is minus 60 we have, okay, now downside what you have, minus 50. By using this diagonal element, we have to make this as a 0. So, you have to multiply with 4 and uh, subtract this. From 2 and 3, we will get a third diagonal element is 0. But, you can do one thing. This is 60 is there. So, you can divide entire row with 4. Then what will happen? This will be 15. This will be 15. What about uh, uh, this element you observe? Can I divide with 4? Yes, you can divide with 4. This is, you can divide with the so what I am doing now, for this simple calculation, friends you remember, you can apply any number of, or means you can apply any operations, row operations, different operations you can apply. Now what I am doing, you see, R2 tends to R2 by minus 4, that's it, R2 by minus 4. Then I will have first row as this friends, okay, 1, 9, 22, 28, and the second row, 0 by minus 4. Minus uh, 60 by minus 4 means minus minus cancel, then you will have 50. Okay, minus minus cancel. This is, uh, I think, uh, 130 times of uh, 120, 40 times of 160. So you will have a 39. Okay, next year, 4 times of 4. Next year, 28 means 4 times of 7. Right, 47. Next to this row is as this. You write on as this. Lambda minus 44. Mu minus 56. That's it. Okay, now you have to simplify. Use this diagonal element, make the below the diagonal element is 0. Okay, now I am applying. What will happen? You see, applying R3 tends to this one I have rounded up. Okay, R3 tends to R3 plus R2. Then I will have 1, 9, 22, 28. Next, 0, 15. 39, 47. Next, 0 plus 0. 0. 15 minus 15. 0. Lambda minus 44. Lambda minus 44 plus 39. You will have lambda minus 5. Next, mu minus 56 to 47 plus 47. So, you will have minus 9. So, mu minus 9. Okay, friends. This is the reduced matrix for the given system of linear equations. Now, we have to verify the solutions. Here we observe, this system of equations they are given as a solution. Which solution? One is unique solution, the another one is 
uh, infinitely many solution third one is no solution okay first uh, i'm doing a unique solution okay friends you remember when you will get the unique solution you have to write rank of a is equal to rank of a b which is equal to num r and which is equal to number of unknowns how many number of unknowns are there x y z so total how many we have three so rank should be three when you will get rank three in exam form below uh, yeah, at least uh, means three non-zero rows should be have so three non-zero rows means this is a non-zero row this is non-zero it should be non-zero row so you remember friends suppose if you take in this is zero this is non-zero then it is a non-zero row but rank of a it will be two in this case when if you take a lambda equal to five if you take a lambda is equal to five rank of a is equal to two next mu is equal to nine rank of a b is equal to n both if it is satisfied both if it is satisfied then it is two next you remember lambda not is equal to five then rank of a is equal to three even mu is equal to nine or mu not is equal to nine if it is mu not mu is equal to nine what will happen it is zero but is it zero no so this is a non zero rule so in this case rank of a b is equal to three only next suppose mu is equal to five means rank of a is equal to two and uh, mu not is equal to nine mu not equal to nine means this is a non zero rule this is a zero rule so in this case rank of a is two in this case rank of a b is three so here you observe friends three cases are have written directly now now we have to verify which is unique solution unique solution means this row should be non zero row when it is possible lambda not is equal to five case so right on lambda not is equal to five so in this case this is a non zero i am considering k uh, that k may be 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 whatever it may be friends okay but this is zero or non zero so that is the reason i am writing lambda is equal to lambda not is equal to 5 mu is equal to 9 or mu not is equal to 9 it's not an issue about the mu value when you you require a unique solution okay now go for the second one second one what we have no solution okay no solution no solution means what is the property we have means rank of a not is equal to rank of ab so friends you observe rank of a and rank of ab not equal when it is possible you see rank of a here you have a 2 rank of ab is 3 so friends you remember if lambda is equal to 5 what will happen lambda is equal to 5 means this is 0 so rank of a is 2 suppose mu mu not is equal to 9 mu not is equal to 9 if i take it then this rank will be what 3 in this case rank 2 here rank of ab is 3 so write down here lambda is equal to 5 comma mu not is equal to 9 so this is the Possible condition when uh, no solution. Okay. Next, finally, what we have infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions means rank of a and rank of a both should be equal, which is less than n. What is the n here? You have n is equal to three because x, y, z three variables are unknown values are there. So x, y, z is equal to three. So which is correct answer? You see, rank lambda is equal to five. These two are zero, friends. This is zero. This is zero. When it is possible, if it is zero, when it is possible, zero. If lambda is equal to five, okay, when it will be zero, mu is equal to nine. Only this is the case. In this case, what we can say, it has a many solutions. Many solutions. Simply, you can say infinitely solutions, more than one solution. Okay, friends, this is the solution for the given system of linear equation. Thank you for watching this video. Okay